Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yanka, your Christian fitness trainer and prayer warrior. And today we're gonna to do some um, foam rolling and stretching just for the upper um, body. It'll be a very short workout. All you'll need is a foam roller. As always, we're gonna pray first. Father, we thank you for this day because this is the day that you, is, you have made. So we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we love you and we thank you for your love. Oh, Father, I thank you for health and wholeness for all who will participate in this workout or everyone on the sound of my voice. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, ladies, amen. we're going to start just on the side. We're going to do our lat. We're going to do our upper back. We're going to do our other lat. And then we're going to um, just roll and stretch your shoulders and just do the upper body, okay? So go ahead and start on your side. Take your foam roller, okay? And we're going to lay on our side here, okay? So, and then from here, you want this as you roll you're going to kind of like lift your hip up and then just take it up and down okay until you find a tender spot as you roll now or you can keep your hip down i have mine down too but if you lift it up you're going to feel a little bit more intensity now you're rolling as you roll um you're looking for any tender spots okay or adhesions in the muscle okay and if you find a tender spot you're just going to stop right there and just hold it and we'll hold it for about 30 seconds okay so, oh, I have one here. I'm just gonna hold here. Now, your hand can rest down or up, whatever is comfortable for you. You're just gonna hold onto your, um, hold onto that spot just for about 30 seconds. And just relax into it, okay? Like I said, you wanna get deeper into it, you can lift those hips up. Oof, woohoo! But it don't have to be that intense. And notice as you're um, holding it here, I have a lighter foam roll. So these whites and things, they're a little less dense. You can get those black foam rollers that are darker colors and they are um, they're a little more dense. So you're going to feel it a lot more. But I prefer to be gentle on my muscles. So I've had my foam roller for years and I like this white one. Every once in a while, I'll try, I'll um, get on the one at the gym, that denser one. But I prefer the um, less dense. Okay, we're going to release that. All right, from here, woo. So what you should feel is like a release, okay? And sometimes you may need to hold it longer, but at a minimum, hold it for uh, 30 seconds, okay? Now from here, we're going to roll out our backs. So you're gonna lift your butt up and just roll up and down. So like, um, sh right, like at the top of the shoulder blades and then like mid back, but you don't wanna go lower than that, okay? And just notice any tense areas. And if this feels good, stay with it. Cause I sure like to do this like nearly every time I um, come to work out. So foam rolling is good really at any time, okay? You can go, you can do it before, both before and after workout, or um, just, at, like I said, any time. I like to foam roll like when I get up, cause it just, I just feel better overall when I do this, it's amazing. And I like to do it before workouts and after workouts. Yeah, I don't really have any tender spots, maybe because I rolled out a little while ago. But if you find a spot, just go ahead on and hold it. And this just feels good. It's like, this is also called the poor man's mas massage. But um, I'm not poor, so I don't call it that. <laughs> um, but the other name for it is self myofascial release. So you're just releasing the fascia in your muscle, that's all. All right, now from here, we're gonna take it to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side, but you can just roll over. Now, we're gonna do that other lat. So that lat is that big muscle that wraps around the side of the back here under the um, armpits. So we're gonna take it here, and that can be tender, especially if, like if you did any chest ex exercises or anything, chest press, chest flies or anything like that. Woo, woo, <laughs> I don't even need to roll, girl. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll it out. Woo, woo, oh, woo, got my feeling this. Find your spot, I'm gonna hold it in a second, but woo, let me just like rub it out a little bit. <laughs> Ugh. All right, ah, and hold it there. Like I said, a minimum of 30 seconds. Ooh, 30 seconds. Uh, today I did a, um, a jump rope. Well, it was like mid intensity. I don't really do too many high intensity workouts, but it was a mid, <coughs> mid, in mid intensity jump rope and strength training workout. So I am feeling it. Woo. Uh, feels good though, it's good. Just hold it there. Go 
gonna hold it for five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, all right. We'll, we'll do one more, okay? Because I actually like doing this too. All right, take your, um, you're gonna turn your foam roller the long way, okay? And have a seat on top. Make sure your back, your head and neck is supported, okay? And I think this is good. Oh, we're opening the chest. We're gonna hold it there in a second, but all I'm doing is just taking it side to side. <clears throat> so we get into that back a little bit more. Oh, this feels good. Cause I'm feeling my traps. And in the center of my shoulder blades, in your rhomboid area, and just hold it. If you find any center spots there, you can hold. Good. And I also like the foam roller. I may do a video on that. Um, there's a lot of um, actually actual exercises you can do from um, upper, lower, and um, ab exercise, core, core exercises. So I may do that as well. And just take it side to side. You find tender spots again. Just hold it there. And I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds, but I'm just rocking it back and forth. But this just feels good to me. And I think, you know, we do a, uh, I guess in fitness, you think you're supposed to just beat up your body. You're not, you know, I've been an athlete most of my life and you know, I've done grueling and hard workouts. And at this juncture in my life, I don't feel like I need to put my body to do that. I'm not training for anything right now, um, like a 5K. But, you know, that's a little running. But, you know, be kind. Be gentle to your body. Take care of it. And if you want to challenge it, go for it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can still see changes and not, you know, put your body through all that. So I've done a lot to my body. Uh, you know, a lot of running and diving on the floor, you know, playing basketball. That can be rough. Play softball, volleyball, um, track. You name it. I was doing, like, all everything. Um weekend warrior <laughs> workouts triathlons do athletes so now i'm just like you know what love on my body thank you father for this amazing body all right now we're going to release that go ahead and just roll to the side and bring it on up and we're going to stretch out here okay and that's why you will see me do a lot you know a lot of um a little more gentle workouts since i would have you know before at a different period in my life go ahead and roll the shoulders back and just sit whatever way is comfortable. This just happens to be comfortable for me right now. Good. All right, go ahead and drop that chin to your chest. Oh, and lift it back up. Good, do that again, chin to chest. And bring it up, look directly in front of you. Chin down again. Good, keep those shoulders away from those ears. Down. And this time I'm gonna hold it, chin to chest and hold. And just breathe regularly. And I want you to notice uh, where your breath is. A lot of us tend to be shallow breathers. So we, ch we tend to only get the air like right to our chest. But it's good to get your air all the way down towards your belly area and help cleanse those um, lungs out as well. and work that diaphragm. Get that diaphragm exercise and the more air you breathe, the deeper you breathe. All right, bring it on up. All right, go ahead and look over one shoulder. Oh, it feels good. Bring it center and the other shoulder. Good, do it again. Look over that shoulder and bring it center. Doing good, we have a few more each side. And as you sit here, I want you to sit tall Okay, that means your chest is lifted, your spine is long, and I want you to roll those shoulder blades down away from those ears. And do one more time each side, and the next time we come over here, we're gonna hold it, okay? All right, look. Now I want you to drop that ear down towards that shoulder and just hold it there, chin to chest. Feel that nice stretch in your neck here. If you want it a little bit deeper, you take this hand and take it behind you. You'll feel a deeper stretch right on the side. I'm gonna release that. All right, bring the head up. I'm gonna look over the other shoulder. Go ahead and drop the ear down and just hold it there, chin towards the chest. And again, if you want a deeper stretch, take the opposite hand behind you. 
and feel that nice little pull or deeper stretch in there. And we're gonna release that ladies. Nice job, bring that arm back. Okay, gonna round out, press that spine back. Good shoulders, they wanna do this, drop them. Now open up. Good, do it again. Round out. And open up. And just like when we do, do this when we're standing, go ahead and tuck that pelvis forward, press that spine back, keep those shoulders down, chin to chest, and open up. And round again. Make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. Next time we come forward, we're gonna hold it. Good. I'm gonna round and hold right here. Push those palms away from you, okay? If you, it hurts to connect, just reach forward. That's absolutely fine as well. Keep those shoulder blades separated. Keep the shoulders away from the ear, chin to chest, and press that spine back. You're making a C-shape with your spine. Tucking that pelvis forward as well, and hold, just hold it. And you're not holding your breath. You're just holding the um, stretch. Once you release that, all right, come up straight. We're gonna take it to the back and do the same thing. Back. Lift that chest up. Squeeze those blades together. Oh, nice. Ooh. I feel like it's a nice stretch in those biceps. And then lift that chest up. So you're lifting um, from above um, your shoulder. Wait a minute, that's coming out wrong. <laughs> you're gonna lift that chest up, all right, towards the ceiling. And you're not arching your back, just lifting that chest up towards the ceiling. Keep your spine as long as you can get it. And just hold it right there. Doing good, but now holding their breath, remember to breathe. And release that, oh, it feels good. Oh, that's all, because I did a lot of upper body today, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, go ahead and take that arm up and over. Oh, nice stretch, bring it up. Good, and do that again. Take it over. And up again. Good, and take it over, we're gonna hold it right here. Doing good. And notice my elbow is bent. If you want to go lower, go for it. You take it down deeper, go for it. Do what works for you. Now with this arm up here, make sure the shoulder blades roll down that back and you're not pulling that shoulder towards that ear. And I want you to rotate take that chest right towards the front and hold. We're going to bring it up. Other side, lift up nice and tall. And take it up. Oh, it feels good, and bring it back. Do it again, take it over. And bring it back. One more time, take it on over. And bring it back, and this time we're gonna hold it. Take it over, and hold right there. Remember your hand can go here, or here, whatever's comfortable for you. Keep that shoulder away from your ear. Keep that chest right in front of you, or facing me, okay, and hold. If you're look, assuming that you're looking directly at me and hold it. And bring it on up. Nice job, ladies. Go ahead and give me an inhale up. Lift that chest up. Good. And exhale down. Roll those shoulders back. Do that again, inhale it up. And one arm goes across the front, the next across the back. You take a bow and we praise the Lord because this is the day that he has made. You have a wonderful, blessed day. And um, I will see you again real soon. Bye. Thanks for doing this workout with me, ladies. If you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful or beneficial, do me a favor, like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, and share. And um, just to give you an update, just for the month of December, I'm doing videos on Mondays and usually Tuesdays, but um, you're getting this one Thursday because my weekend um, went 
it wasn't planned so it kind of threw me off schedule a little bit but um i'll see you next monday um, for prayer and whatever else and then tuesday for a workout so have a great rest rest of your week god bless you and i'll see you again soon Bye.